Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I say our channel. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of the Q&A with Mom C. I've already published part one. So if you're interested in, you know, finding out her answers to the questions about um, raising a child with autism, then go and watch the part one of this day. Come and watch this part two. But if I've already watched the part one, then yeah, let's continue part two, okay? God bless you, mommy. And I appreciate the grace of God over your family. Yes. My question is, how did the in-laws react to the news of special <sighs> care child in your family? Being Africans that we are, was okay. there any pressure from your father's side? How did being the primary caregiver of a special child impact your family's social life, especially as a mom? Uh, say mom, social life. Okay, okay. So let's start from the first one about mm -hmm. your in-laws. Oh, oh my in-laws. How did they react to the news? Well, everybody was... Uh, well, I did not notice it from them. They tried. Mm -hmm. Like I, what I said now, you know, most times it's the husband that, yeah. that starts, they starts the full step. Mm. When they watch the husband and see how the husband is taking it, they'll, they'll, that's when... Uh -huh. When they were just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what if they see that your husband is going to them, eh, my child is that, mm. they will have mouth to talk. Mm. But my, my husband he will even be praising my son that my son is going to do this scholarship to people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the mother will be looking at him. I know mm. why the mother is looking at him. Is, is it this boy that is going, <laughs> going to give scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> eh? And again, uh, 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 the man of God that my husband is... Yeah, he, he never gave room for anybody. Mm -hmm. And again, like I told you that, he's the second son is in many generations. Mm -hmm. His father, his father, they never liked what was going on, what we mm -hmm. saw. But the father, they didn't react yeah. differently. Mm -hmm. The only thing I will tell you, even my own people, the only thing I will tell you is that we didn't get much help. Mm -hmm. We didn't get much help. I will say it here. Thank God, we are happy today. God is there. It's true that we went through a lot because this autism, money, you must have money. Mm -hmm. The school fees we paid for this boy, mm -hmm. hey, from Abuja. To the, he went to several to, schools. Like, several schools. Mm -hmm. There was this school, he went, you know, you know, uh, uh, at a point we kept him at home, they were coming to teach him at home. Mm -hmm. And when they come, they will not allow you to come, enter the room, uh, the room where the boy is, so they, mm -hmm. that they want, uh, you know, private. One day the boy shouted. So my husband came out and saw that the, the, the boy that was teaching him gave him a, a, a black eye. Gave my son a black eye. Okay, what happened? They said he thought, because he was doing him, he was massaging him. So he thought my boy was about to, to use pencil to attack him. He first of all gave my son a, a blow on the eye. Oh, Jesus. And one thing I'll say about my younger brother, he's not a violent person. At all. At all. At all. At like, all. He's one that... Even with small children, so we didn't them like this, like, like, like ah, he's, was, he's a very gentle person, yeah, it's not So, the boy said he thought he was going to attack him, so, so he gave him lie. black eye. Ha, still, you know Nigerian factor, mm -hmm. now. you just keep quiet, at least, uh -huh, mm -hmm. at least these people say they want to, they will do something. Mm -hmm. And they, they, we were paying their money, uh, their money in hours, hours yeah. not even them or whatever. Mm -hmm. But at their point, they reduced the hours again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And again, I don't blame the boy that gave black eye, because... You know, many people are looking for jobs. Yeah. They don't train anybody. They're not trained, yes. They are looking for who they, they will recruit to mm -hmm. come and help them do job and get money. Mm -hmm. So long as that their big money is, 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 is intact. intact. Yeah. So that was how they recruited this boy that didn't know anything. He gave my son a black eye. Mm -hmm. An innocent boy that, that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that cannot even defend himself. Mm -hmm. So, thank God. How are you, golden mom? <laughs> I've watched numerous videos of moms with special needs children. Child, children on YouTube. Yes. It's full of challenges. It's not easy. Keep it mm. up. You're a super mom. Hallelujah. My question is, did you at any point re regret taking him, taking care of him, or you wish he was never born? Hey! Mm. Yay! Yay! No, just like what I said here. It was a prayer answer and I mm. continue to say that. Yeah. In Abuja, at a particular point, the, 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 um, the wife of the pastor called me out one day. I said, Madam, I want my husband and myself, your husband and you, to pray concerning oh, this your boy, so that if the boy is not from God, the boy will die. If mm. the boy, if the boy is from, from God, from God, the boy will stay. That prayer was not done. Mm -hmm. I told the woman, pump and play. Thank you so much, Nim. Thank you for for your concern. Mm -hmm. Because to tell you the truth, 
she 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 was pitying me not that mm. she was being bad mm. no she was pitying me she saw what i was going through and like i said but i will not pray that prayer mm -hmm. because i pray for the boy to be born so mm -hmm. why should i pray for him to die mm. eh? do you do you know oh do you know i maybe i can bring this one in mm -hmm. along the line because especially those of us that have the bigger or autistic children Mm -hmm. We encourage when we see children, people with younger children, you know, we encourage them. One man told me, in fact, one Igbo man told me, not just the Igbo man from my side, told me in confidence that my sister, do you know one day I, I took my child into, into the car, went to a lonely place where people were not around and dropped the boy there and, and, and decided to... to, to, to to run back home. I decided to leave the boy in the hey in a small bush. I decided to leave the boy there and go home without the boy. He started the car and was moving. The boy was crying and following, mm -hmm. running after him towards uh, running with the car. Is, do you think it's possible for somebody to drive off and the child will be running mm -hmm. and meet you? Meet you. Uh, driving him. That you yeah. mm -hmm. It's an angel. An angel stopped the man. The man said, he stopped. When he saw the way the child was crying and following him, in a deserted place, he said he stopped. Opened the door and took the boy back. Hey! And to tell you, the boy, when I saw the boy, his son is also very small. Small. Someone that is going to secondary school. I can talk. If not smaller than my son's mm -hmm. room. If not smaller, and you want to leave him, you want to kill your child for what? No, I've never, it has never crossed my mind. In fact, anything that will happen to that son, let, let the thing happen to me. So I had somebody, I also went, uh, took a child to the airport, an autistic child. That one was even blind. Because some of them come blind. Yeah, they come with other things. So. They come with other things. He took the child into, the, into a, a restroom there to, you know, to kill him. Or oh, is it her now? The kill. But by the time she wanted to do something, somebody entered, walked in, walked in into that place. She couldn't do it. I said, well, what will even make me to think? I know another woman that said even her husband was angry with his daughter one day. The daughter's one small too, but the, the girl was on the ground. You know, she was not working at the age of almost 30. She was not working. So that the, the girl annoyed him. So the, the man had the had the I don't know, called the girl and said, eh, if you give me trouble in this house, I will I will use cutlass, cut you into pieces, put you in a in a in a bag and go to lagoon and throw you in Lagos. I will throw you into the lagoon. And the wife had it. And they even told me, I said, What? You had it and you were hey God. I said, my, because my husband was angry. I said, angry. What kind of anger is that? Is it, is it the, the, the child that, that caused it? This is just the one I had, though. You don't know mm -hmm. the one that they have yeah, killed they, like that. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. Why are you killing them? You have blood on your hands. Mm -hmm. And God will not forgive you. Mm -hmm. Don't kill anybody. Look for solution. God will give you solution. Mm -hmm. God will give you help. Hey, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Who is you? Hey. Yeah, it has not been easy, but I have to say it because I know some people need that encouragement. Yes. Be a super mom, like I am. A proud one for that matter. Mm -hmm. Even the schools that my boy has gone to, they, they, they say, what kind of parents are you? You mm -hmm. people, you are trying. You are not hiding this child. You are, in those schools, do you know they say my child is always the, the only person that will go around after eating? To thank everywhere, everybody. Yeah. I said here in the last interview that all my children behave like, including mm -hmm. that aut autistic child. Yeah. He behaves like my, mm -hmm. my big children. Mm -hmm. They have the same. How did this boy learn? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> he have the same manner of approach. Mm -hmm. they, they are very good children. They are very good children. Mm -hmm. Is it not enough to thank nah, God for? Very calm. Like, it's like I keep saying, huh? he's not a violent person. Ah, no, 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 very nah, calm. Nah. He said, I'll be looking at you, you'll be misbehaving. Uh, 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 I'm looking at you. He'll be thanking you. Mm -hmm. At times, he will thank you. Mm -hmm. When you come back, you come inside. When you are a visitor, you, hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. 
Mm. It's just his speech. Mm. At times, it's just his speech. He will thank, he will welcome you. Mm. He has nothing he will not tell you. And okay, sorry, something we've not even said. Uh -huh. One thing about autistic children is they they are very gifted. Hey! You know, my younger brother I keep saying this thing. If you ask him what the time is, he will tell you the exact nah. time and without checking the without clock. checking the clock. Though. Yes. Once you say Chima, when it is one or when it is this, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that brings me to what I want to say about. How to settle him in this Nigeria now? Yeah, yeah. You can't take this one to university again, no? Mm -hmm. Or polytechnic? Eh? At, at twenty-two, mm -hmm. the, the 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 older sister had had already qualified as a chartered accountant. Yeah. So what what I want to do is, uh, he's a routine person. Once you say, Chima, when it is so, so, so time, come and tell me exactly that time. That time come and, come tell, and tell, you. tell And he's not looking at any at, at any clock. clock. Yeah. So we will look for. Uh, maybe poultry, fishery. Thank God we have a very big compound in my in my place. We have to build all those. God will provide the money. We will build mm. all those for him. He will have mm. a settled life. Yeah. Yes. That's what we, they are so talented. Mm. Very very. There was this seminar I attended. A, a child. Once you say I was born in 1960. Mm. Do you know the child will tell you at the exact day? Day. Yeah. They always have. It was like magic. Mm -hmm. It was like, once you say 1960, the boy will just look and look and raise your head. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. The hall everywhere. People are clapping exactly. because the person knows that he was born on Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. The yeah. boy will just tell you. How did the boy know, know that one? You don't mm -hmm. know. They're actually very, very gifted. And the thing with autism is that they are, they are not mentally challenged. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. The problem is that, or the, the difference is that, it depends on the spectrum anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. No, what I mean is that their gift is different from what we are used to normal oh, life. Oh, what our okay. normal life is adjusted to. Uh -huh. So that's why they find it hard to integrate with us. Because mm -hmm. how will the child how will somebody know the time without checking the clock? So the way they are gifted is different from wow, what is normal different. for normal for most people. That's why it's it's, it's difficult to integrate them most mm -hmm. times, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are actually very very I, I, I know I know a, a lady that told me and they it encouraged me that the child is actually tall, very tall boy. Mm -hmm. So they yeah, went to all schools and the mother was crying just mm -hmm. like what we were doing then, mm -hmm. looking for where to put him. After some time, they will tell the, the woman to come and take the child. The child cannot do anything. But now, the, guy, the child is in America. Mm -hmm. Even with the parents and the sibling, you know, mm -hmm. they said he, how, how, how he started uh, 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 basketball. basketball. Mm -hmm. From basketball, he went to the U.S. He now took his younger brother. Mm -hmm. he, the parents are in the U.S. Yes, no. That same mom that was crying mm -hmm. up and down. They are gifted anything they are doing because their concentration is there. Yeah. Like my son now, very neat boy. Mm -hmm. He will arrange things. He will come yeah. to any room. If you drop anything on the floor, he will pick he will it. Pick it, yes. And he's to handle it. Clean. Yeah. He will pick it. <laughs> very clean. He will pick it and and put it where it's supposed, supposed to, to be. be. Yeah. He doesn't forget anything. But the only thing is, if you if you are used to keeping something in one place and you remove it and you remove it and put it in yeah. another place, he won't find it funny. Yeah, no, 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 no. He will carry it and, and put, put it back. back. <laughs> put it back where you used yes, to put it. Yes. They are so detailed. Yeah, detailed and routine. Yeah, uh, yeah routine. Mm. That's why I feel that uh, that agricultural uh, yeah. business mm -hmm. that I want to do in the village will, will, will he will mm -hmm. benefit so much. Yeah, that's spending the time because the, the brother is bent on taking him abroad. Yeah. The brother said if he if he found his way, he would take him to Canada. He mm. would take him abroad, where they will channel their mm. gifts, where they know how to, you know. Yeah. So they want to me, for to me, society. I, I think what what is what we where we are now is that we want him to travel abroad. Yes, but things have not been mm. so easy here. So. The second option is now to stay in Nigeria, but that traveling abroad is still fair. That's why I always advise women. See, don't forget what's happening in this country. If you have a special needs child, find your uh, way. Find the uh, way. Uh, There's no point. Nigeria that has, Nigeria has not reached. They have not. They have not taken care of uh, normal, normal children. children. Thank you. In quotes, not to talk of <laughs> special. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, in quotes, mm -hmm. my dear. Okay, so I said, Aditi, thank you so much for using your platform to raise awareness. Okay. Okay, she's also okay. She's a midwife. She says, "My question is, how did you siblings cope with understanding that your brother might need more attention than you guys do? Was it hard sometimes? What would you advise to other siblings with special needs siblings? Um, I know they are very special. God has special plans for them. Okay, so this question is for me actually. Yes. 
Um, how do we cope? We we just cope. The thing is, because we grew up. I mean, I was four when he was born. Now yeah. I was four years when he was born. So because we grew up seeing him as part of us, it wasn't different. It wasn't odd to me. It was just what I knew. I didn't see that. I didn't have to cope differently or adjust differently because it was what I knew growing up at least. So it wasn't difficult for me to cope. The only thing I know that I did was I wasn't quick to tell people like if they don't know him. I wasn't quick to tell people about him. Like when I meet even till today, I'm not quick to tell people about him because I just don't want nonsense. Like, <laughs> like I was saying in my last video, if you, if you talk if you say anything about my brother, I'm going to block you after insulting you, you know. <laughs> so because of it, I'm not quick to say because I, I don't want anybody to even say any nonsense, you know. So that's the only um this thing. Okay, another thing that happened, I don't know if I've told you this thing before, but with each pregnancy or each time I give birth, I always had this I never I never um gave it more life. I didn't I didn't dwell on it. But I always had this fear that will come and tell me what if your child is autistic. Even during pregnancy, mm. I always had that fear. Someone will just come and tell me, mm. I'll not say go for it's not it's not my portion. I'll remove my mind from it. But I think because of I grew up seeing the struggles and everything. So deep down, somewhere the devil was always trying to remind me or tell yes, me. It's yeah, the devil. It's the devil. Trying to put it in my head that what if your child uh, I can't, I can't, was, was, I think it was Cora, when Cora was born Devil was not telling me, look at your child very well, Lou. check this child very well <laughs> That's I'm not checking anything, no, she's fine No She's fine, mm -hmm. yeah So my advice to siblings is, is They are normal human beings like I'm you telling Just, you. I'm telling And again, you. they need love, they need care, they need special they need attention love, Especially love Three yeah. things, love, 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 love yes because uh, see, you are talking about siblings. Have you ever asked yourself? Suppose I was the one that happened to actually. It's true. Supposing, yeah, suppose you are him. As in, uh -huh. imagine if you are you are him himself. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Someone asking, is he non-verbal? Mm -hmm. No, he's not. He's not non-verbal, but he's not um, verbally advanced. Yes. Verbally advanced. He yeah. can he can answer some few questions, few questions. and be quiet. Yeah. If you ask, if you continue if you asking him, for he will be sm smiling. Yeah. Did you ever get snide comments from family and friends? If yes, how did you deal with ah. it? Ah, <laughs> na 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 They have their mouth now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, just like what I said in the last mm -hmm. uh, last video. Happiness is free. Mm -hmm. When I discovered that in this life, in the life is your own. You are the owner of your life. Mm -hmm. So, I I don't even wait to hear your comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you'll be commenting, but mm. it does not matter. Mm -hmm. it does not matter. I've never been so. I've never been bitter. Anybody can say anything. Mm -hmm. I won't even do as if you. Uh, I, I know you are talking to me. Mm -hmm. In fact, my place at times when they know, when they go they get to know this, eh, eh, you have this kind of child and you are so happy. I say, eh, eh. oh, mm. you want me to die? Mm. I, should, I, should. I should be slim, Abby. Mm. Mm. Ah, you, the way you look, and I didn't know. Somebody was saying that you have so, so, so then I'm like, why are you always so happy? I said, eh, hey, good. <laughs> I'm happy because my child is my child. He's a very fine boy. Mm -hmm. What is my problem? So I, I, I don't, I don't take people. I don't get angry with people. Why should I get angry with you when you don't know what you're saying? All I know is that every child is a child. That's all. Okay, could you, could she leave that? Could you leave him with a trusted person? Who was it and how comfortable? Where are you leaving him with a trusted person? Ah, well, who is the trusted person? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from your, your children, his siblings, mm. who again is the trusted, trusted person? Mm. Huh? Oh, okay, unless your, sister, your, your own siblings, mm. my siblings, my sisters, mm. because I, I remember very clearly, my sisters did not find it funny at all. Yeah. <laughs> they are, they were, this is my sister in her. In Abuja, working in Abuja, mm. when he was in Abuja, my sister would go to would go to the school, go and look for where to buy razor blade, mm. because the school they were not taking good school. Oh, Jesus, better building, mm -hmm. owned by by wife of a, 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 a former president. president. Yes, yeah. and he was the sitting president. He was the sitting president when she owned that school. Yes, mm -hmm. my sister would go and look for where to buy razor blade. To come and cut my son's hair mm -hmm. because they will not cut hair for them, they will not do anything. One of the problems he's having now, it was from that, that school. school. Teeth. Mm. 
No food. There were no food, no so supplements, no his health was deteriorating, his teeth. We didn't know we were in Lagos. Mm -hmm. The day my husband brought he bought him from holiday. Brought him back. My husband did not bring him inside the house. Just we entered. Uh, come and see you. Uh, VC, come and see. Ah. Uh, come and see your child, though. come and see your son. I said, eh. What is wrong with you? When I came out, my husband was expecting me to shout. Mm -hmm. I didn't shout, I was looking at my son. I said, don't you see how, how lean, how this one, how this one? I said, Nam. <laughs> thank God he's alive. Mm -hmm. You brought him back alive and, and you, are, you are showing me. What are you showing me? Mm -hmm. Suppose this boy died in that school. Mm -hmm. And the owners of the school, they are the, the owners of the country. Well, yes, we are, we what are, will you do? Who, who, who will I go and talk to? For what? Thank God he came alive and he's not going back there. Mm -hmm. That was the end. Mm -hmm. We left all his things there. Mm -hmm. He didn't go back to that school again. Thank God he's alive today. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And unfortunately, the owner of that school is not alive. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just sorry. Mm -hmm. Because what, apparently what, what it seems like they were doing then is... You know, because they are in charge of the country, they will open up uh, projects and say this one is for special needs children. Oh. They used to be collecting donations because yes. everybody will be donating from mm -hmm. different countries, both the one that is laundry, money laundry and not, we don't even know. But different donations. So they just use the other school as a front to collect donations. You were even saying that a teacher said sometimes she used her salary. Yes, to not, not a teacher, the... the, the, uh, the do I call it the headmistress mm. now or whatever? Not what do they call them? Mm. The woman in charge told us in confidence that at times she will use her salary to give food, uh, food, food to, the to, to the children. How many How children? How many children can you feed with How your salary? How many children? And we are not living in Abuja. Mm -hmm. At least those that we are living in Abuja knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my, my my sister, it was my sibling. I will go around looking for to buy food. By the time he, she will bring the food to my son, many people will come and eat the food. Yeah. They, were all they were not fed well. I, I don't like to remember mm. them at all. Mm. That's why in this nation, if you are if you are looking for government to come and answer you, <laughs> oh, you you will be tired mm -hmm. looking. Very. If you see their buildings, Julius Berger. White elephant, is it not where they cause such projects? Mm -hmm. Yes. White elephant mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. But the heart was not there. Outside will look very good. Very you go good. inside, yeah, you, if you be, see be the shoes and you, you cry for them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they are doing today. Or maybe they, are, they have changed, but I, I didn't make any inquiry about them again. Because of that, my experience, mm -hmm. 20, 20, uh, about 23 years ago, mm -hmm. I, we never went there. We never asked questions. No, not 23. Eh, are you sure? No, 23 years. Was there. Uh, 23 years, that means he was 7. Uh, okay, no, okay, no. Okay. Not even to 7. So. Mm. Uh -huh. this one, someone is asking, how did you handle your, me your mental health? Okay. I have a 5 year old on the spectrum and it's draining. It's draining? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. It points down to the same thing. It's, just, it's God and God alone. Mm. Yeah. God and God alone. And try to change your mentality yeah that's why i said the journey is long so it is long you need to change your mentality change your mindset, now yeah. change your mindset now that this one is from you I, i'm not uh, if anybody comes tomorrow to come and help me but good mm. but this one will. so change your mindset too because the, that, the fault is not that uh, the, the, the fault of that child yeah. i'm sure i'm sure some people that are wishing them dead it's, it's because of that, this mental health we are talking about yeah. now. They don't want to cope with this thing is so, this, that. No. Just commit yourself to prayer. That's what I can say. Mm -hmm. It's just prayer. And God's intervention. Mm -hmm. just, just being asking God to intervene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would even advise you, we should look for community of... Uh, mothers going through the same thing. Okay. Like this, that super, super mom uh, group. Super the way. mom. Do you have anybody's number there? Because I can put it in. Eh, uh, super mom. Uh, I, I did it. I don't know. Mm. I removed my myself since <laughs> I knew I wasn't. Mm. Mm. But if you, if you can find a group of, you know, moms going through the same thing, you can check online, you can check on Facebook, check yes. um, on YouTube, you know, uh -huh. and then also talk to somebody. Talk okay? to somebody. So, talk to okay, somebody. if you see it, oh, oh. That's mm. the better, that's the good yeah. solution. Mm. You see people that are going, going through, through the same thing. The same thing. Yeah. It will help. It will help. Then talk to somebody. It will help. Also, like, like, sorry, that, like, sorry, like that, that, that's, that man that told me 
how he wanted to go and uh, mm. uh, uh, leave the child in the mm. bush. Yeah. Yeah. So, so because he, 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 you know, he had confidence, he had confidence in me. Mm. And, you know, he saw how we were taking care of our own. Now mm. opened up. Yeah. That at the point, he thought about killing the child. Mm. Leaving the child in the bush, you know what it means. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But because he saw what we were doing, he now calmed down. Yeah. And we were advising the way we could. The kettle, five year old. Find good help for you. There is, there is hope for you. Mm -hmm. Please don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Change your mentality. Try as much as possible. One day you will talk, you will talk like me, mm -hmm. the way I'm talking now, because it's all over. Mm -hmm. My son is 28, going to 29. It's all over. Everything is calm now. That my boy, he wants I cough now. You can't get water for me. The same boy I was fretting over. Mm -hmm. about, uh, go and get water. Mommy, take water. Mm -hmm. I'll take water. He will just be looking at me. He will just be looking for what to do for me. The moment I enter the house, he will go upstairs and, and bring wrapper for me. Bring something that would make me to settle down, downstairs before I mm -hmm. go up. And, and nobody is sending him. Yeah. <laughs> just the love. You know, the boy will have love for you. One day you will see it. You will be surprised. Yeah, so I think we've answered most, the majority of the questions. Okay. If, if, even if we didn't read it out, I'm sure you've gotten an answer to your question. Uh, maybe some other time again we can do another one another if you guys one. have more questions or uh -huh. anything. Another time. Another time. But another time. For right now, in the description box, I'll put resources there that you guys can check out and then in the comment section let us know if you have a child with autism and you are willing to share what is working for you you can also share it in the comment section so that anybody that is reading will be able to learn one or two mm -hmm. things from me okay but i think finally what me i'll say is that number one is not anything that you did it's not your fault yes they still don't know the cause of autism mm -hmm. till tomorrow nobody knows they the don't cause. know yeah so um it's not anything you did because a lot of children are born blind deaf oh those, those are even easier to find out what's happened for instance like young measles now a lot of children are actually born with physical deformities deafness you know blindness or in the heart or a hair it's not autism per se that it needs to you know so it, it has no they can't find the cause and they can't find they don't have the cure but you can manage it very well there's some of them that it's are brother doing half jobs okay half jobs are doing well Someone said in the comments that her child is um, studying computer engineering. Okay. So, like I said, it's a spectrum. So, some of them are next to normal. Like, when you see them, you can't tell that there's anything wrong. Okay, while there's some other people that it's obvious that there's an issue. But either way, manage they're it. They're highly gifted. They're highly gifted. Either way, manage it. It's just... It, someone asked a question about it being spiritual. Whatever the case is, <laughs> whatever the case is, whether you say spiritual, mental, physical, <laughs> anything, just know that... You know, you have to um, take them as your child and just start working on their future. You yes. know, yeah, and then hold on to God again. As <laughs> that will help us. <laughs> <laughs> because me, I used to look, at, I used to think back and say, "Ha, huh, how, how did you cope all these years?" Uh, I know all these years, I didn't really see it as uh, uh, because uh, I, something I knew it, didn't, it wasn't really that bad to me. Yes. It's not when I started having my own children, I'm just like, ah, you really uh, tried to. Uh, ah, uh, my dear. I was in the last video now. You remember, you, you, you remember where I was talking? Now, I was following my children. Mm -hmm. what, what do you people call it? Is it helicopter? Helicopter mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was jumping up. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm I'm proud to say that I'm a super mom mm -hmm. because <laughs> handling the other children mm -hmm. was different. I'm yeah. sure when I was telling uh, when we were talking that last time, they didn't know that I had. Yes. Yes. I, I know you mentioned it there, but I cut it up because uh, I wasn't I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, I mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned that when you were going through issues with Chima. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Son, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. So I I was doing that one mm -hmm, with this with the normal children in quotes. Mm -hmm. Then this one now entered. I just took it up. Mm -hmm. Be strong in yourself. Yeah. I took it up as this is my own. Mm -hmm. And this is a child I asked for. I asked for God whether mm -hmm. the child, uh, whether something happened along mm -hmm. the line. I don't want to know. But if you stay there and be and be and be just dwelling in it, dwelling in mm -hmm. your in your in your mishap, mm -hmm. ah, God, me, mm -hmm. out of all the people in this world, mm -hmm. it's me that is going Why through me? this. Why me? Uh, who else? Oh, oh. <laughs> who would it be? Ah. <laughs> if not you, who? If you continue mm -hmm. to dwell, mm -hmm. 
in, in, in what is going on, you will not go far. Yeah. But if you take it in, in Bible, it, take mm. it in. Let the people. One of my big sisters said each time he, she wanted to cry for me when when, he, when he, she saw my child, mm. she would look at me. The person you want to cry for is happy. Happy, yeah. So she said she will quickly go and clean her eyes mm. without me seeing, <laughs> seeing, seeing what she was doing. Mm. And I liked it. Don't cry for me, Joe. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not crying. Yeah. I'm happy. God is still God. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching Hallelujah. and we'll see you all in our next video. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> bye. God bless. Yeah, bye. <laughs>